So, Gaslight, Patrick Hamilton, written in 1938, set in 1880. And we sort of open the play and we think this is kind of domestic bliss initially from the, the very opening, but it soon becomes clear that there's something going on and we're not sure what. She's a very well-written female character and Patrick Hamilton seems to have been able to do that well. He's written most famously Rope, which was made into a Hitchcock film. And he's really good at setting this dark suspense that builds and, you, and it keeps it interesting. I look back with really great fondness because I'd been working from such a young age and by the time I got to that point I'd been doing episodes of things here and there where you kind of you're always the new girl and you never really get to relax so the opportunity to ca came to be part of something that is almost the nearest thing to a nine to a five and I got to relax for a little bit because it's an odd job it's 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 fantastic and then the other side of it is that you you, you never really know where you are. So for a little while, I really wanted to, it came at a good time and I just wanted to relax for a moment and I, I did. <laughs> I liked Dawn because I thought she was funny and, and not someone to be taken too seriously and those are always fun parts to play. But it, it, it is an odd thing being part of a show that's on constantly because you read you read your initial scripts and you don't know where where it's going where with every other job you have your beginning middle and end and so you can really gauge what you what's being asked of you but with that it just never ends and it's really you're living two lives there's a four year age gap so we've never had a rival rivalry we always laugh when anyone suggests it just because it's such an odd industry that it's comforting having your sibling there to help you and we're quite, we're very different although we've chosen the same sort of career path. I, do you know what I didn't and I thought if I can make it to week four or five that's respectful, I'll be happy with that and then slowly you kind of think oh, I don't want to go back to normal life just yet, and you just get soaked up. So I'm not a very competitive person, naturally. I am competitive with myself. But all of a sudden, I thought, I really want to stay one more week, one more week, and uh, somehow I made it to the end. I haven't spent much time in York at all, but whenever people ask where I'm going on the tour, and I say York, they sort of oh, gush, and I'm really excited to spend spend some time here, and I've already seen a little bit, and I know where I'm, what I'm going to go and see, so I'm, I'm really excited.